Hi, I'm Dr. Pam Linden. I am a veterinary social worker and I'm here to talk to you today about pets and mental health. About 68% of American households have a pet and there's a good reason for that. Um, it turns out that pets are good for our physical health and our mental health. Physical exercise is an important part of taking care of our mental health and pets provide opportunities to get outdoors and to walk and to play. Studies show that doing things that are fun and playful can release chemicals in our bodies that make us feel calm and relaxed. During those walks, pet owners have opportunities to socialize and expand their social networks. Socialization is another way that we take care of our mental health. We feel better when we surround ourselves with people who care about us and like us and listen to us. Pets offer unconditional love. They're great at listening without judging and they can ease loneliness and depression. Um, simply by their mere presence. Some studies suggest that pet owners are less likely to suffer from depression than non-pet owners by simply petting, talking to, and gazing at an animal. What happens is, during that gaze, there's a release of this feel-good hormone called oxytocin. And that can elevate our moods. Now, you don't have to commit to pet ownership in order to get the benefits of interacting with animals. You can participate in animal assisted therapy activities. You can volunteer at an animal shelter or other animal welfare organization, or you can foster a pet while they're waiting for their forever home. Some studies show that when a person and an animal gaze at each other, the person isn't the only one benefiting from the oxytocin. It turns out that the animal has a release of oxytocin too. It's good for our mental health to know that we're helping others feel good too. So if you're an animal lover, don't pass up the opportunity to improve your mental health through interacting with animals. It turns out it's good for you and it's good for them.